All right, in this video today, we're going to go over uh, programming of uh, the Apollo Gold Poxag pager uh, off a customer's email, um, saying that we have some issues on some of this stuff. So let's take a look here. We have a customer programming some pagers to a cap code. Um, let's take a look here. Looks like this is the USA Mobility programming here and this is the gold programming looks like they're using USB FA 25 version 1.00 they're programming at 462 9000 and I think that's telling me exactly what the problem is uh, looks like they're using the wrong software they're using a flex version of the uh, Apollo gold um, programming so um, when they're frequency is actually POXEC so uh, they're using the wrong programmer but let's check to see if they got their codes correctly so they have uh, 64 5644 here and it's enabled as a personal cap code um, I don't believe that E's are tech ever in there let me double verify though we'll double verify that when we open it up so and it looks like this is for the Unication Alpha Golds 462. Okay, and then you got the codes. Priority, yes or no. Okay, okay. That all looks right. So let's make sure we download the correct software. So let's go to our website, ApolloWireless.com. Uh, you go to the Support tab at the very top. We're going to click Programming Software, Numeric, Alphanumeric, Pagers, ESB, Cradle. Um, so this is the one we want right here, the AFPD PC 611 version 6.11. Looks like they got the gold flex programming software right here. So this is not the one that you want. You want the USB one here. So go ahead and download it by clicking on the link. From there, we'll open it. I'll hit the close here, this is a WinRAR system, so hit the setup.exe do you wish to install it? I'm like, yes I do next username, DPC, organization, DPC is fine I'm going to save it in a gold Apollo folder in the start menu uh, install very easy finish go ahead and close out of this I'm going to go locate my folder All programs I'm going to look for Gold Apollo ALA25 USB programmer. So that's the programmer. I'm going to put in the password A is in Alpha, C is in Charlie, 5678. Okay. It's saying the program board is not responding because I don't have a pager on the board right now. So uh, let's go back to their information that they needed off their programming. So we know that the frequency is 462.9000. So we'll go here and we'll put in 462, oh, I'm sorry, frequency 462.9000, no dots. Tab over. I gotta change this here. 462.9000. Looks like, let's see if their system is narrow band or not. Okay, it's 512. It looks like it's on a wideband system, so we can leave it there. Wideband, let's get their first cap code by scrolling down. Cap code's going to be 0005644. I could just type in 5664 tab, and it will automatically put that on there. So, Okay, so this one's on. Ever display A, type priority. Um, that's pretty much all you're going to need to do. And let's get the baud rate too. Baud rate was 512, so let's go to the baud rate. Change the baud rate. And we'll check to see if there's anything else they want. Operating mode standard, box sec 512. And alert, they're only using one cap code, so individual. Uh, they have a message called on the power up 
HSKP 17-PGR 630 so let me copy that and put that as a power up message as well in there so you can find that in the alerts and status power up logo I'm just gonna paste what they have here so okay codes and features and this 2.7 kilohertz alert frequencies I'm not really gonna have to play with this you could all do this in the menu so alright so okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to save the table file for this as a customer's table file and I'm going to send it to them. So after that you just write the, the pager there but uh, there's other little settings you could play with. Um, majority of them you're not going to have to play with because these are stuff you're going to be able to play in the menu. Um, prompts and edits if you even use those which you're probably not so um, I went ahead and saved this here and let me know if you have any questions uh, give me a call 800-540-5700 uh, extension 34 um, and uh, if you need any help with any other pro problems that you might be having with any of our programming info I will be more than happy to send you um, send you over a video of how to fix the problems that you have so thank you